All right, hello. So I'm gonna make you this video showing you some ways to make pretty organic controller shapes. So uh, this is the file you sent. Um, and I'm going to make one small modification to it before I really get started. And that is to get rid of this small fillet. Um, it's going to make, uh, when you make larger modifications to shapes, um, you wanna get rid of those and sort of do those last. So by clicking on the face, I can find it in your history here. It's got the little lines above it. So I can just right click and suppress feature. And I believe that gets rid of all these small little fillets I need to go away. Yes, beautiful. We can keep this big one on top. So the main tool that uh, we're gonna use to make those sexy curves is the form tool. And we're gonna use the form tool to create some surfaces and then trim those surfaces together to, to make the shape. And then use things like bigger fillets to blend them together. So I'm gonna click the Create Form button. It shoots us into this new uh, workspace. And we're going to go ahead and make a plane. Um, when you're adding, when you're modifying an existing shape, um, I find using planes instead of uh, the three-dimensional forms is better um, because it's easier to, to combine surfaces that way. So click on Plane. You have to select a flat face to make a sketch on. Uh, for some reason, if I select the bottom of your controller, it, gives, it puts out a weird angle. So we're just going to use the default construction plane. And now I'm just drawing a center rectangle. So you want to make this bigger than you need it. So roughly the middle there. And then we'll make it yay big, right? Bigger than we need. Now we have to select the number of control points. So you always want to go with fewer than you probably think you need to start. Um, so again, looking at this guy, I'll just leave that there. Uh, we can drag this to, well, I think we really only need four points here. And so that's because if we look at this, ooh, oh no, it zoomed in real big. Uh, it goes in here and then back in at the end. So really we're not, it's not a lot of curvature and the, the fewer points, the, the smoother and cleaner it's going to be. And we only need the, the one. Uh, control point in the middle there. Ooh, zoomed out a whole bunch. Sorry about that. So for there, leave it at the default to there. Hit OK. No symmetry or anything. And now to change the shape of this, you're going to right click anywhere on it and choose edit form here. Now uh, we can start messing with the shape. So I want to select this whole long edge. If you double click on any edge, it selects the whole length of that edge if that makes sense. So with that highlighted I'm going to use this arrow to just pull it down and give me a nice good little scoop shape maybe maybe even a little bit bigger. Then I'll take this single point here bring that up to sort of give us that indentation in the front and then do the same thing in the back. Did it get, get it go get it to go scoopy in the back. And that's it that's Pretty much the the same shape as the uh, as the controller you sent, um, and of course you can go around, you can fiddle, you can move these points all over the place until you're happy. And also, once you finish, uh, you can always go back and edit this later. Um, the wonders of parametric modeling. So, but we'll just uh, leave it there for now, and then we'll click finish form, and now that becomes a surface body. Now I have created a new group here. Let's collapse that um, just for the, the bits I'm going to be working with. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to group seven. And hopefully I'll, it'll, well, anyway, we won't worry too much about groups. Um, I'll add things there as we make them. So that's going to be the bottom. To make the side, we're actually going to borrow the side of your controller. So to do that, we want to turn this part of the, this face of the solid into its own surface. So we're going to go up here to the surfaces tools. Then we're going to go under create and it's a little unintuitive. We're going to use the offset tool. The easiest way to duplicate a surface is to offset that surface with a distance of zero. And it's going to create a new body. 
but that new body is a surface. So if we hide your body, we now have just that face of it as its own surface. Now, it has this weird shape because it's part of the main body. So the first thing we want to do is to untrim it. And what that does, it takes any shape that's been trimmed to, that's a specific shape because of what it connects to, and just makes it a nice, simple, rectilinear shape like that. So that's what we want. Next, we're going to extend some edges. So when you trim shapes together, you want to make sure that they fully intersect each other. So this side shape is only speaking, uh, it's only peeking through the bottom right here. So we want to extend this edge down a lot. Always go farther than you think you need. So it's fully penetrating there. And let's go ahead and I'm holding down Control uh, Command if you're on a Mac to select an additional edge. And so we're applying that extend to both. And I'm just going to drag it there until it goes all the way forward as well. Um, I'm not going to worry about this edge because we're actually going to be, uh, that's where we're going to be connecting it to the main controller body later. So those are nice and extended. And now uh, I'll show you how we're going to combine these. So we're going to use the trim tool. So that's this guy here. And so first we're going to use this surface as a trim tool to trim the other one. So you select the tool, the thing that you're using to cut first, and then you click on the part of the parts that you want to go away. So in this case, this bit of that surface, so it turns red and it tells me it's going to be deleted. So if I hit OK, now everything that was sticking through the surface through the bottom is gone. So we'll just do that again. Except this time the side's going to be the trim tool. And you notice it actually extends the cut to the edge, which is nice. Uh, and so now we can get rid of uh, this part, come on, this part of the bottom surface. Beautiful. Okay, so now <clears throat> we need to do something about the front here. So the controller you have, it looks like it has a little bit of a scoop. So I'm going to show the body here. Um, and we're going to make it so that it actually lines up with this corner, uh, just to make things nice and simple. Um, is that what I'm going to do? Thinking about it here. No, that's right. So instead, we want it to sort of start where this surface meets the bottom of your controller. So to do that, uh, we're not going to trim. We're going to use a command called split. So it's sort of similar to trim, except it doesn't delete anything. So we're going to go to split body. And the body we want to split is actually going to be the surface. And the splitting tool is going to be the back face of your controller. And so we'll make sure extend is checked so it, we get this red circle. It'll split it all the way. We hit OK. We now have separated this face into, well, three different faces. And this is why we didn't trim. We, it's separated into the main bit. Then we have a little bit on this side, and then if I hide the main body, this bit over here. So this bit we can completely get rid of. I can just hit, I'm just hitting delete on my keyboard. Um, but if we'd used trim, it would have gotten rid of this bit too, and that wouldn't have been good. So um, we are now going to rejoin all this together with the stitch command. So, and I'm not necessarily doing this in the most efficient order. Um, I'm going back and forth a little bit just so you can get a better sense of the tools. So click on my main body, click on that little bit that was just split apart. And notice how the edge between them turns green. That tells me that edge is going to be stitched together. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and add the side here. So that's going to be stitched together as well. Great. Hit OK. And now you'll notice this is all one single surface body. All right, so far so good. So now, one of the nice things is that we now have this edge and we have this edge, and so we can see exactly where they're going to intersect. So let's make a new surface by creating a sketch. And we're going to do that again on this top plane. And then if I zoom in here, I want to know where this intersection point is. So I'm going to use the project tool. 
So under create, project include, project, you can also just hit the P button on your keyboard. I'm gonna project this edge and this edge. And so it creates these two purple lines if I hide this body. Those are those two points. Now we're gonna to need to add a point that is that intersection point. So if you go to create point and it should snap right to that intersection. There we go. Escape out of that. So now we have that point. So now let's make a nice little scoop for uh, where the buttons go. So to do that, we're going to arc, three point arc, start at that point, come somewhere over here, pretty arbitrary, and then choose some amount of curvature. Let's use that. Great. Finish sketch. And now we're going to take this line and extrude it into its own surface. So let me use, uh, we have to be in surfaces, mind you, to use the extrude tool, and then it will create a new surface. And again, we're gonna uh, extrude it all the way through the other surfaces. And then once we've done that, we will do the other thing we've been doing, where we trim. So we use that new surface as a trim tool, get rid of that part. By the way, if you select something and it doesn't look like it's selected, check the other side. Um, Surfaces are technically one-sided, so you have to select them from the, when you select them, they don't always show as highlighted from both sides. So we'll hit okay. And then we'll do the trim tool again, using this as our trim tool now and get rid of the other bits of that. There we go. Great. All right, so far so good. Um, now I'm realizing that I probably will need this side surface here. So let's go back in time and fix that. Um, because I ha if I go back to before I extruded that surface, I have this sketch and this sketch has that line in there. It's just a little too long. Um, so let's go ahead and edit that sketch. And then I'm gonna use my trim tool in the sketch to just get rid so I can't just trim this as is, and that's because it's a purple line, it's a projected line. And what projected lines are good for is that they're based on other geometry. So you know what? Instead of doing it that way, uh, we will go forward once in time where we've extruded that surface. Then we're gonna go, ooh, Find our sketch that we just made. Oh, we have all of our, well, why is that not showing up? Oh, right, because it's hidden. So let's show it. And now let's go ahead and extrude that line. Uh, now, here's a cool thing. Um, this line, we know exactly how long it needs to be. It needs to go and meet up with this edge. So if you move it in the direction you wanna go and then click on a point that represents the distance you want to go like this, it will make it exactly that length, which can be very handy. So we've done that. Great, now let's go forward in time to our trim. So we need to also trim that. So let's go and edit our trim. Also get rid of that part, beautiful. And let's check our other trim, great. Now we also have, uh, oh. We have this little bit where we don't that we don't want, and also this wall is too high. So to get rid of the high wall, we're going to use the trim tool. I'm going to use this construction plane because that's what this sketch was made on, right? So if I use that construction plane as a trim tool, it'll trim this exactly where I want it to be. And then finally, trim using this side. We should be able to get rid of that little guy. Great. So now we have this nice little body to get to uh, finish the top. I'm just going to um, first, well, right now these are still a bunch of different surfaces. So first we have to stitch them all together. There we go. All looks good. Now we're going to create a patch, which is basically, um, oh, let's uh, hide our sketches real quick. Uh, just going, you select a closed loop 
of edges and it will create a nice flat surface for you. Then we'll stitch that together. And when you stitch two surfaces together that have that once they're stitched, there are no uh, open edges, you'll notice that they go from surfaces to a solid body. So this is now a solid. And let's see, we're at 15 minutes, but we'll keep going a little bit. So in order to incorporate this with the rest of your body, um, what I would recommend is, let's go ahead and use the side of this to trim away the side of the, the basically the old controller shape. So we're going to hide that, sorry, show that, hide the body. And we're gonna go back to our solid tools. We're gonna to use split body, uh, body to split the controller, splitting tools, hide the controller, the side of our new body. It's gonna create this big thing, looks great. And now it looks like it deleted that. It, it didn't actually. Um, it's it's still there. It's just split it into a bunch of different bodies and some of them are no longer in your group here. So if I, so now I'm going to, since we want to keep the buttons, we also need to split. So here, if I hide this, um, we want to split this, the buttons away from the bottom of it. So to do that, we're going to, let's hide our new controller half. And remember the top of that is at our top plane. So we can use split body again, select, uh, well, body to split is this guy, the one, the, one, the one with the buttons. Splitting tool is our top plane. And the reason I zoom out to do this is because the top plane gets stays the same uh, relative to your screen. So it gets bigger relative to your part. So it's easier to select when you zoom in real far, it's sort of buried in here. It's hard to click on. So it's going to split there. Very good. And now, all right, so this is the part we no longer want. Hide that. Show that. And there we go. So then we can go ahead and combine all those together. Now you have this area here, um, that's not a big problem. What you can do is uh, so many different ways. Let's go ahead and do an offset. So we're gonna click on this face because we, um, well, you'll see. Click on this, I'm gonna hit Q for my press pull command. When you use that on a face, it's gonna enter the offset face command. I'm gonna offset, oh, it doesn't, Offset, uh, new offset. Is that not gonna, doesn't want me to do it. Okay, that's okay. Uh, we will cancel that. So we're gonna use an advanced thing. Um, this, this doesn't always work, but if you understand how the geometry works, I should be able to, when in the solid uh, workspace, delete this face and it will sort of, because that face is basically a corner that's been cut away. So if I delete it, it should restore the corner. Let's see if it works. I'm hitting delete on my keyboard. Yeah, love it when that works. So now that that is a full shape there, let's go ahead and I'm going to combine these three together again. Oh, come on, include that. There we go. Okay, one big happy family. And then to get rid of this, I can click on that face, hit extrude, and then just extrude it up as a cut. And voila, there we go. So the top is remained the same. And then the bottom now has this nice sexy curve. Uh, and now you can go in and do things like add sexy fillets. So to blend them, I take this guy here. That's so uh, yeah, it's not gonna wanna go too big, but maybe there, 6.4, great. So that'll blend it nicely. And uh, it'll sort of, and then when you add a 
fill it along this edge. That'll blend in nicely. And uh, yeah, so I hope you found this helpful. Um, the to do the shoulder button, you're going to do a similar thing, just with a uh, make start with a surface on what was this flat face, give it a nice curve, and then maybe use a thicken command. Um, maybe have a do a sketch from this side, project in the size of your new face. Maybe offset it a bit. Use that to trim your your curved surface. Um, stuff like that. Uh, if you, but it's the same type of tools that I just used to to make this. You're starting with a form surface, and then you're using different things to trim it. So I hope this was helpful. If you uh, have any questions, let me know, and I will upload this to Fiverr tonight. And uh, yeah, hope you like it. Have a great day.